If you've ever watched a popular talent show on television, you've probably seen completely talentless contestants blow their stack in anger when the judges tell them the truth. Their performance is terrible. But here's the important question. How can some people think they're so good at something when they obviously are not? We'll get to that. But first, let's do a quick review. In this course, we've looked at how learning well means connecting neurons into strong sets of links that are deposited through either the declarative or the procedural system. We've looked at how working memory helps deposit links through the declarative system and that you shouldn't overwhelm your working memory. We've also looked at how your brain's diffuse mode can help connect links when you are stuck and how dopamine can improve learning directly and indirectly through boosting your motivation. Based on these insights, we've presented a number of powerful techniques that you can use to learn more effectively, including retrieval practice, spacing, interleaving, metaphors and associations, internalization, and memory palace. These learning techniques are like tools in your learning toolbox. To be a pro learner, you need just such a well-equipped mental toolbox. But how do you make sure that you use the right tool for the right learning challenge? And that you use the tool in the best possible way? And that you keep expanding your toolbox? Say hello to metacognition. Metacognition literally means you're thinking about your thinking. It can be thought of as having an extra brain that thinks about how well you're actually learning and how you can learn better. It's what helps you get the most out of your mental toolbox and your learning in general. Pro learners are metacognitive. Part of the reason they become pros is because they assess and reflect on their own learning. Angry talent show contestants, on the other hand, are not very metacognitive. They don't objectively analyze how good or how bad they actually are and how to improve. That's why they get so surprised when the judges give their verdict. So how can you become more metacognitive? Start thinking about your own learning. To help you with that, you can use a model that breaks learning into three phases. Before, which is when you plan your learning. During, which is when you learn. And after, which is when you evaluate your learning. Let's say that you want to learn Spanish. The planning phase is when you analyze the learning task, set goals, and plan how you learn the language, including which tools to use. Perhaps you plan to use language learning apps and flashcards 15 minutes every day to build vocabulary through that declarative system using retrieval practice, and then complement that with practicing with a native speaker for one hour twice a week to help build fluency using the procedural system. The learning phase is when you sit down to learn but in this phase, it's also important that you monitor your own learning and make necessary adjustments where you need to. This process is kind of like how a good photographer will look at his photos as he shoots them and then adjust camera settings to get just the right level of exposure and sharpness. This means when you're learning, it's good to take little micro breaks every now and then to think about your learning and how it's unfolding and decide whether you should change anything. Perhaps you realize that you can work even more effectively with your flashcards if you interleave them, mixing up words from different topics and changing the order from time to time. In the evaluation phase, you look back at your learning session or sessions to think about what went well and identify room for improvement. 
you might conclude that using the app is more fun and motivating than flashcards. So you decide to use app only for building vocabulary. Or perhaps you realize that you don't get along too well with a native speaker, so you decide to find someone you'll have better chemistry with. The result of your evaluation could be that you change your learning plan altogether. And so you're back at the first phase, planning your learning. Learning often goes through many such cycles, so you not only continue to improve your learning of whatever you're studying, but also become better at learning itself. Now it's time for you to evaluate your learning from this course. So head on over to the discussion forums and let your fellow learners know what you found the most useful in this course and see what other learners thought. We hope you have enjoyed this course and we wish you the best of luck. I'm Olaf Shui. And I'm Barb Oakley. Thank you for learning to learn like a pro.